Well, let me tell you something. Vegas Live with Ninon is on fire. And the only reason it's on fire is because I have Angela Teak back. Angela Teak has, um, she was in Vegas some time ago. And she left, I believe it was New York, plus, you know, because I don't pre-interview my guests, but I believe it was New York. And now she's come back again, and she really is putting this town on fire. But not only is she putting this town on fire, she's putting herself on fire. I have never seen Angela, anybody, to, to really go out there and, and, and get business, get bookings, and get, get stuff. Because obviously this is your dream and to be on stage and to do what you do i was born to do this you were born to do that, this and i and i realized it at an early age i just this is all i've ever wanted to do i was shocked that i even got married because all i ever wanted to do was you be are a married i've never seen yeah. you with a husband yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the husband hasn't come out he's, of the woodwork he's, he's yet. very low-key he's, he's, yeah, he's very low-key well, he anybody in, with this woman would have to be low-key. No, he stays in the background and he likes to just watch, but he's very supportive, very supportive. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, And he has supportive. ever since you've been married. He's a even, Canadian. Even, uh, it's Canadian? Yeah, oh, yes, they're the yes. best. The Canadians are. <laughs> hey, I've never had a Canadian on, I don't think. We need a Canadian on here. <laughs> now, you were just saying that you were last night you were at the, uh, the bootlegger and... Uh, well, the last couple of weeks I've been making the rounds. The thing is, I don't mind getting out to do any promotion. So, if, okay. you know, they say, well, Angela, do you mind going here? Are you kidding? No. Can you sing? Yes. yes. You know, my mother said, she used to say when I was younger, if there was someone, is anybody here that can do? I can't. No, I can't. Your hand <laughs> okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Before they finish asking, I'm saying, I can, I can. So, so you're not stage fright or you don't have any well, of that stuff at you know all? What? Do you get nervous I, at Oh, I get nervous. Every show oh. I get nervous, but when I get out there, yes. I just take the nerves and put it into the performance, you know? And then after maybe the second or third song, it kind of mellows out and, then I'm, and then I'm comfortable. But I'm nervous before every show. Now, you, you just come back. You were in New York, right? I was in Toronto, actually. Oh, Toronto. Yes, yes, yes. Fabulous. I was in uh, Toronto. That's how I met my husband. And I tried to live there for four years, but I didn't just work. I couldn't. <laughs> I didn't I'm work. like, I'm a California girl. I couldn't handle that weather. So uh, you know. a little bit too much. Yeah. So from California, you came to Vegas. Are you still are you live in yes. California? As I, well? No, I live in Vegas now, but I came from Los Angeles here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So why did you leave Los Angeles to come here? Did, could you not get the bookings there? Because I know well, it's, it's tough in Los Angeles to get a booking. Well, you know, we, when we chatted briefly about it before, is that um, there's not a lot of work in, no. in Los Angeles no. for an entertainer. But, you know, for actors, it's great. Perfect, yes. I used to go all over the world to perform. I would go where the work was. And of most of the time, it wasn't in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> Because LA is very funny. LA is very funny. There's a few little clubs that stay open. Right. But LA, like 9, 30, 10 o'clock, everything's uh, dead. That is it's so called, true. The restaurants, everything is like... That is I so true. Angeles, Los Angeles was like, you know, a sprouting When place. you have people visit from other places and they go, where are we going? What's going on? And you're thinking, like, well, where can I take them? Where can I take them? What am I yeah, going to do with them? Them? So, yeah, so I came to move here for one thing, the... the um, it's so expensive now in Los Angeles. When I came back from Toronto, yeah. and it's so congested, and the people... Oh, yeah, it takes you an hour to go yeah, anywhere, just so to go up I the was street. Like, oh, God, so we the can't last take couple it. of weeks, you've been floating around. Where have you been? Wow, okay, I did the luncheon for the Fiore group. Yes. I did a luncheon for them at the Italian American Club. And then I did the Songwriter Showcase with Keith Thompson. Oh, that was amazing. And, uh, I was down there at the Smith Center. Yes, fabulous. I love You were that. fabulous. That was so much fun. You know, Thank it's you. funny, but that was the first time I'd actually seen you perform. Yeah. Yes, and that's I was true. sort of I was on tenterhooks and I was thinking I've had her on my show before and I sort of talked to her but I've never really heard her sing. Yeah. You have an incredible presence on stage. Thank you. You have a very natural presence. Thank You're you. very flowing. But what you do do is you bring the audience in. Thank you. You bring them in to enjoy what you're doing. Yes, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to touch the audience. You're not up there singing for yourself. No. Because a lot of singers, they may not even realize it. They're, they're singing for themselves. Well, they're more considered how they're bringing and it out of what they're the doing. Yeah, off. and they close them. Oh, you don't. I love that. that that's the reason I'm there, is yeah. for the audience. And I want them to leave and say they actually felt well, something. Well, I did. You I'm, know? I'm verifying it. I felt <laughs> something. She's very powerful. And out it comes. Bootlegger? How's the bootlegger? What and then the, I, first I went to Pizza Mon Zoo and, oh. and I hung out there. And then um, Naomi, uh, she was nice enough to let me sing over there. And and uh, Patricia and, and Maxine were there with me pr promoting. 
Then we went to the bootlegger, and then I did the Dennis Bono show. <laughs> I've been everywhere. Wait this a second, last the Dennis two weeks. Bono show. Dennis Bono is um, is a wonderful um, gentleman. He brings people out, but he will not have anybody on his set or with him unless they're a hundred percent. I he is him. very, very choosy, and oh, but, yeah. but he has the best, and he's been going on for some time. And he's, his show is yeah. so much and fun. And that was at the South Point. Yes, and yes. it's a live audience, so it's yes. it's like a radio show, but with a live audience. Yes. So having the live audience there to feed off of yeah. makes the performance even better. Absolutely. You know? Well, it gives you that lovely encouragement, oh. that lovely feeling. And he's feeling. so. I had to tell you though, when I, I did his show Thursday, and he gave me such a warm intro. I was standing in the wing waiting to come on. And I was standing there thinking, oh, that's so nice, you know. know yeah. And then he says, and now Angela Teak. And I'm like, oh, that's right. <laughs> yes. I better I was trying like, to get out there. Yeah. I was I like, oh. oh. You know, I was kind of, I was just standing there thinking, oh, how nice. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's <laughs> like, you know, he's, 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 I'm and I go, oh, he's, you know, start to sing, you know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It was funny. That's my line. I love it. I, I love, love it. it. <laughs> I love it. I do. I love it because that's the name of my show, Angela Teak. I love it. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yes. right, I love it. There we go. I love it. <laughs> That's the name of my show, yeah. So this week, um, January 25th, at the uh, yes. Italian American Club, it's my second performance there. And I was at the Space, yeah. uh, December oh, the space 27th. As well. I was at the Space, and, and that show was really great. And so. So, do you go to a lot of these clubs and, and sort of, you know, when you don't have the booking at the club, you're able to get up and sing, or they invite you to sing? They invite us to sing, and that's how I got the booking. That's how I got the first booking, actually, at the Italian American Club, singing at the Bootlegger. Oh, really? You know, that Monday night uh, jam session they have there is one of the most popular places for singers to go yes. and, you know, and hang showcase out. their talent. You know, and Kelly Clinton is so oh, wonderful. So that's why Kelly Clinton. Clinton is a, Kelly Clinton is amazing. Yeah, and Kelly course, Clinton you know. hyphen Holmes. Let's yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how Kelly Clinton she always hyphen Holmes. She always says <laughs> that. No, 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 her husband <laughs> says, that's Kelly Clinton Holmes. <laughs> and he'll say that because he said that. He said, don't forget Kelly Clinton Holmes. I said, no, okay, okay. But she <laughs> says Kelly Clinton hyphen Holmes. Yes, so there you go. Like, oh, home. And she just cracks me up. I adore her. She's yeah, so much she, fun. She's a lot of fun. So that's a nice showcase for n newcomers and people are starting out, you know, and people that are new in town. But, but I also think that you need to take and listen to this need to take a leaf out of her book because what she does she goes out there oh you, you have actually, to get out there yeah, you have to be seen you have to be but also you have to be sober you have to show up and yes. you have to do what you need to do absolutely are you sober of course <laughs> i'm sober <laughs> well, i'm just gonna check you know let's make sure everything's okay <laughs> absolutely but um so you're at the italian american club that's this friday, this friday night starts at, uh, doors open at seven Show starts at 8 o'clock. Eight eight yes. mm -hmm. And this is your whole show, all about I'm what doing you're an doing. Hour and a half. Hour and a half Six show. Six piece band. Yes. Sounds amazing, doesn't yes. it? Well, I'm uh, definitely we... going to be there. Yes. I'm going to be there and I'm going to bring one. Oh, maybe I'll bring my producer, Steve. My incredible producer, I need yes. to give him a shot at because he's absolutely amazing. He is. And um, he is, isn't he? He is. He's, wonderful. he's a sweetheart. He's an absolute sweetheart. <laughs> he keeps kind of me together a little bit, and, or he tries to keep me together. Put it that way. <laughs> I, don't know that. It, I don't know if he succeeds <laughs> or not, but anyway, he sure does try. But he also goes on a, lot of, on a lot of locations for me and films what we do and everything else. And we just had a. Um, a absolutely motivational speech come out with Margie Shepherd, so that's we put that together, and that's out there now. So he does a lot of that stuff. Wonderful. So anyway, so anyway, so tell them where they can reach you. How can they reach you? Well, I am managed by Nick Allen and uh, Kendall Allen Productions, and their uh, information is three two three two five three four nine two one. That's Nick Allen and Tom Kendall. Kindle Allen Entertainment Productions. That's amazing. So yes. don't forget to go down to the Italian American Club. That's on Sahara, right? Yes. Awesome. And are you going to give me just a little, a little sort of uh, singing to go out? Sure. What would you like? Um, what good is melody? What good is music? If it ain't possessing something sweet. It ain't the melody, it ain't the music. There's something else that makes this tune complete. See you at the Italian American Club. You can hear the rest of that song. Does that <laughs> not sound a little bit like Billie Holiday? <laughs> oh my goodness. We'll be right back, Vegas Live with Ninon. <laughs>